and gentlemen, Coaster Toaster News. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Coaster Toaster News. My name is Clint Novak. Happy Friday to everyone, unless you're watching this on a day that's not Friday, in which case, happy whatever day it is today for you. Last week, we failed to recognize the passing of America's funniest man, Robin Williams. His biggest tie to the amusement industry was playing the role of genie in Disney's Aladdin, which Disney uses in most of its parks. I did want to share a tweet that was sent out by a, a friend and co-worker, Gilbert Godfrey, who said, uh, From the parrot to the genie, rest in peace, Robin Williams. All right, today's lead story, Cedar Fair making an announcement. I'm very excited about that. What, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? No, no, no. No, take it down. Take take it down and put up the King's, put the King's Dominion logo up. I want to talk about King's Dominion. That's the, here you go, King's Dominion making their big announcement. That's right, they're uh, making a water park expansion to their waterworks section of uh, the park. And uh, they're putting in a new water slide complex. It's going to have a total, I believe, of six six slides. Uh, no, no, seven slides, I think. Is that one of my names? Maybe, maybe. Oh, they got uh, some chute slides. They got some tube slides, some crazy enclosed tube slides, and they have this, one of my top three favorite water slides. It's a tube slide that does a double dip. It's amazing. Uh, they actually put in something very similar up at Dorney Park last year, and uh, really, really good uh, water slide complex, so we're happy about that. They're also putting in a new, no, what What are you doing? I'm not done yet. Put the, put the, King, put the King's Dominion stuff back up. I'll get, to, I'll get to it later, don't worry. Don't worry, we'll get to the Carowind stuff later. Uh, yes, and they're also adding a uh, kids' splash area, which will then double the size of the uh, of the attractions that they have for kids to play in at uh, Waterworks. So that's coming in uh, 2015 to Kings Dominion. Okay, now you can go ahead and put up the Carowind stuff. That's right, Carowinds has announced that they will be uh, building the world's tallest and fastest giga coaster, Fury. 325. It's going to be a B&M coaster going to the height of 325 feet, and uh, it's going to go uh, over 95 miles an hour, so it should be a pretty exciting ride going down to Carowinds. Uh, you know, there are some uh, some things that people are talking about. You know, I know we've talked about it in the loop, uh, the fact that uh, they're building a B&M coaster, a uh, giga coaster where they already have a B&M hyper coaster. I'm not going to talk about that. I don't care about that. So it's going to be a fun ride. I can't find anything wrong with this ride except for one little thing. And I had to dig deep to get this one little thing. That's the way they sell the ride. The way the PR people put that spin in the ride. The world's tallest and fastest giga coaster. I, I really hate when they do this. The world's tallest and fastest giga coaster. Uh, the world's uh, first multi-launch family coaster. The, uh, the uh, what is it? The, the world's biggest kids themed area. I just, that kind of stuff drives me crazy. It drives me crazy. It's, it's misconceiving the general public that they're getting something that, that, uh, you know, they think they're getting the world's tallest and fastest roller coaster when it's not, it's just the world's tallest and fastest giga coaster. Don't like that spin, but really, if that's the only thing I can find wrong with this, this looks like a pretty incredible ride. All right, moving on, Six Flags Great Adventure has denied a Marine veteran access to the park for what they deemed an offensive t-shirt that the Marine was wearing. He was wearing a shirt that said, keep calm and return fire. It also had a picture of a gun with an American flag uh, print on it. And uh, yeah, so they've denied him uh, access to the park because they said that this shirt was too offensive and they wouldn't allow it to be worn inside the park. This is not the first time that this has come up. There was one other story earlier this year when a podcaster and a, a photographer was denied access for wearing a shirt that said, I shoot raw. And uh, I shoot raw, uh, he was claiming, was a term that's used in the uh, photo world because that's the type of photo that you're shooting is raw. And, uh, and the uh, Six Flags stopped him at the front gate. He actually videoed his encounter saying that, uh, you know, it was not offensive. It was a, a video term. So um, my gripe is uh, this. Uh, I was there at the park earlier this year. I find neither one of those two shirts very offensive. I do kind of find them uh, funny. But uh, even if I did find them offensive, there is one shirt that I found highly offensive, and that was being worn by a 12-year-old boy uh, well, uh, in line for the Bizarro ride at uh, Six Flags Great Adventure. That's right. This shirt was being worn by a 12-year-old boy. That means he passed through security. And he passed several other employees in the park, and he was not stopped for his shirt 
at the age of 12. But uh, the other two were stopped from wearing their shirts into the park. I find that offensive. All right, it's time to go check out the latest in the coaster rumors and the coaster building community. We're gonna go to Toronto Josh, live from a balcony somewhere in Toronto. Josh? That's right, Clint. Toronto Josh here again, bringing you your news and construction updates for uh, 2015. So, uh, first we'd like to talk about Thunderbird down at Holiday World. They have started to receive track, the bright orange track that's going to uh, shoot riders through the first ever launched wing rider coaster, so that's pretty exciting. Um, as well, Six Flags is, uh, they're, they're not too good at keeping secrets this year. Um, on their Twitter page, they leaked a really odd picture. It was a rendering that looked like it was possibly done in Roller Coaster Tycoon that um, kind of looked like an El Loco made by B&M with trains by Premier. So I don't know what they were getting, if that's legit or not. Um, I don't know if that's it. That's cool. Love the ride. Seems like a giant tease for something that small. Um, as well, let's go a little bit bigger. Let's go to Disneyland down in California. Um, the rumor of stars, uh, Star Wars Land rather, is getting bigger and bigger. And from what I'm hearing, uh, it's going to be possibly taking over Toontown. Now that would be interesting. I love Toontown. It was an awesome little area, but definitely in need of a uh, refresh. Roger Rabbit is kind of outdated now, unfortunately. So Star Wars Land would be really, really cool. In Bosque World, Mexico, um, I don't know if I'm butchering that name, so I apologize if I do. They are building a premier, one of those premier Superman style rides that are like at uh, San Diego and, and uh, the one possibly, or more than likely, coming to Busch Gardens, Williamsburg. But it's themed to zombies. It is called the Zombie Ride, but it has no zombies in it. The drawing is really cool, the color is nice and green, so it kind of has that zombie-esque feel, but it definitely does not deal with actual physical zombies unless they add anything to it for theming. Um, Wonderland, we'll talk about my home park here. Of course, I can't go without talking about it. Uh, construction flags are down now in Splashworks for the 2015 uh, expansion, including Typhoon, which is a uh, pro slide uh, tantrum style water slide, as well as a splash pad. So that should be exciting, and you can uh, click the link over here and watch the video showing that. As well, Six Flags New England, um, again, back to them not keeping secrets that well, a Rocky Mountain track has started showing up, as well as a Rocky Mountain truck. So I'm just trying to throw a hunch out here, guys, and say I'm pretty sure uh, Six Flags New England is going to get a Rocky Mountain treatment on the Cyclone. Not like we didn't all know that because we're a bunch of coaster nerds. So Clint, that's been your news and updates for this week, uh, for 2015 constructions and everything like that. So I will throw it back to you. See you in the midway. All right, thanks, Josh. Uh, let's move on with some more news here. Uh, interesting story, uh, possibly a rumor that is coming out about, uh, out about uh, SeaWorld uh, Entertainment possibly being sold or hostively taken over by Comcast. Comcast, of course, is the ones that own uh, Universal Studios and their branding. And it would be an interesting uh, interesting fit if they were to take over the SeaWorld brand. Obviously, uh, their stock has continued to fall as an all-time low right now. So it would be very easy for them to come in and do a hostile takeover. Uh, they would also have a, a new spin that they could put on the SeaWorld parks and Busch Gardens parks for that matter and that is uh, licensing that you would never have seen before right now they currently use a Sesame Street licensing in most of their parks where they can do shows and uh, areas built around the theme of Sesame Street but uh, think of what the Comcast brand could do when they could come in and do all sorts of stuff that uh, they could do with uh, of course the universal branding behind it so uh, very interesting story coming out there uh, that that is of course rumor stuff that is not necessarily true uh, but there has been talks on some big sites about that. Now we can move on to the actual true stuff, and that is SeaWorld has announced that they will be building a very large uh, uh, tank for the uh, killer whales that they currently house at all three of their SeaWorld parks. They're going to be expanding uh, the uh, the housing facilities and almost doubling the size of those, and they're going to make them much nicer too. They're going to put the whole SeaWorld spin on it, so it's going to go from a just a glass enclosed tank to a very nice. They they'll have a 40 foot viewing wall from underground and everything that you can check it out. It's going to be a very cool project. The artwork looks amazing. 
Busch Gardens Tampa has finally started doing some test runs with Falcons Fury with actual people in it. They did a uh, employee ride night as, along with some soft openings. So we are getting uh, very, very close to having uh, Falcons Fury open for business. We got some exclusive video at uh, the Coaster Crew YouTube page that show off uh, the Falcons Fury in action. Well, if you're a geek like me, then you're going to be looking forward to 2015. Lots of big stuff happening in the coaster gaming world. Frontier has announced that in the spring of 2015, it will be unleashing a new game for the Xbox 360 and the Xbox One. That's going to be called Scream Ride. It's going to be a factory style game where you're going to be building roller coasters and rides. And then you're going to try to push them to the limits where they're then going to break, fly all over the place, explode and people are going to scream and you get points based on the mayhem that you create. So a very interesting concept. Uh, of course, uh, many of us have been waiting for years now for the new Roller Coaster Tycoon game uh, and Atari has announced that they're going to be uh, doing a new PC version uh, called Roller Coaster Tycoon World. So that's going to be coming out in the spring of 2015 as well. And uh, that's going to have all the fun features of building and running your own amusement park. The uh, interesting story here is both Frontier and Atari used to work together to build Roller Coaster Tycoon games. It's interesting to see that they have now gone separate ways and have come out with two different games. And finally, rides have started coming down at the Freestyle Music Park as uh, they've been rumored to have been sold to a Vietnam theme park. It's an unknown theme park in Vietnam. And uh, it's very interesting. The Hard Rock Park opened in 2008, lasted less than a year before shutting down its gates and then reopened as the Freestyle Amusement uh, Freestyle Park in 2009. It shut down later that year as well and has been sitting for the last five years just vacant. And now those rides are off to uh, a Vietnam uh, amusement park, I guess. Lots of fond memories the Coaster Crew had uh, at uh, the Freestyle and uh, the Hard Rock Park. So check out any one of our videos that we have from, uh, from there. All right, that does it for your Coaster Toaster news. No Drew the intern this week as he's off this week, but we'll have him back next week. And for Toronto Josh and myself, thanks for watching Coaster Toaster news. Remember, we tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, and that's how we see it.